go to geekforme.com, the easy way to find trusted local tech repair experts near you. Geekforme.com, fast, local and reliable. This is the NZXT H3 Flow, a compact micro ATX PC case designed for maximum airflow and support for modern builds. The H3 Flow is made for both micro ATX and mini ITX motherboards and offers plenty of cooling options. You can fit up to seven fans inside or go with water cooling using a 280 mm radiator on the front or a 240 mm radiator on the top. Graphics card support goes up to 377mm if you don't use front fans or radiator, though this space gets a bit tight if you do. For the power supply there's room for units up to 185mm and you can use a CPU cooler up to 170mm tall. Cable management is straightforward with over 31mm of space in some areas. Looking at the case you get a mesh front and the top has a mesh filter, while the left side features a tempered glass panel covering around three quarters of the case's side and the bottom quarter is a mesh PSU shroud. The rear side panel is mostly solid with vent holes for the power supply area. For expansion you have four PCI slots. There is support for both standard and rear connecting micro ATX boards, including new options like the ASUS BTF and MSI Project Zero. And there's still space for larger components despite the case's compact size. For cooling you can fit a 280mm radiator or two 120 or 140mm fans at the front, but make sure the total thickness doesn't exceed 63mm. The top panel fits a 240mm radiator or two more fans with a maximum depth of 70mm. When it comes to storage, you've got two mounts one that can take either a 3.5 inch hard drive or a 2.5 inch SSD and another that fits just a 2.5 inch SSD. For ports, the top of the case gives you just one USB 3.2 Type A and one USB Type C Gen 2x2 port. So it's a little limited and there's no audio ports included. Ventilation is a key focus. You get airflow from nearly every angle, with fine mesh at the front, side and PSU shroud. Interestingly though, there is no separate dust filters on these panels because the mesh itself acts as a filter. However, the top does come with a magnetic dust filter which feels a little inconsistent compared to the rest. As for airflow performance, it's always hard to judge with a case that only comes with a single fan, especially as the final airflow depends on your own component choices and fan layout. One thing to note is that there is no built-in RGB lighting, so if you want that look you'll need to add your own RGB fans and components. Now about the PSU shroud, because it's made entirely of mesh, you can see straight through it into the lower compartment. Any messy cables or branding on your power supply will be on show. Plus there's no venting under the PSU, so you'll have to install the PSU upside down compared to normal, meaning the branding may be visible but also upside down. The H3 Flow comes in a simple brown box with a diagram on one side and the specifications listed on another. You'll find a sticker with product image to help identify it. Inside the box you'll get the case itself, a manual, a pack of screws and some cable ties to help with your build. So there we have it, the NZXT H3 Flow. Compact, focused on airflow and ready for modern micro ATX and mini ITX builds, but with a few points to keep in mind depending on how you like to set up your system.
I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.